Hello, this is a short reaction video from a UK Hyundai Ionic electric driver, a car that has the CCS type socket for rapid charging, for rapid DC charging, to the news that has just been announced on the Electrek website today that Tesla has apparently confirmed that for its European models of the Tesla Model 3, they will have the CCS standard. So why is this exciting for electric car drivers in Europe, particularly the ones like the Ionic electric, the Kona electric, um, the I-PACE and so on, all these cars that use the CCS standard, and um, what does it mean? So I think the exciting thing here is that Tesla is not only going to have the plug on its cars, um, whereas it could have had the plug and perhaps somehow kept the existing supercharger network, but it will also adapt its supercharger units to have the CCS plug on it. So I think very soon Tesla will have produced more electric cars on its own than all the other manufacturers of the last few years combined, such as its kind of ramp up of the production rate of the Model 3. So what they decide to set as the standard, I think, for their cars, um, in whatever region, but in, in Europe, it's sort of applicable to me, matters because it means that, you know, others will have to kind of probably commit to that standard. It will reduce the number of standards out there that will eventually be good for, you know, um, transparency and, you know, comprehension by future drivers, um, less confusing, more kind of, you know, standardization of, of what's going on. And, um, you know, as someone who kind of uses CCS in the UK, and it's, been, you know, been a fairly flaky experience that the main motorway highway chargers, Ecotricity, uh, there's not enough of them, um, they're not reliable enough, they don't provide high enough power, most typically in my experience. To have something coming that, you know, there are these, these rumours on, on the horizon that Ionity and other networks, Fastnet and things, are going to be rolling out higher power chargers with CCS um, across Europe. It's all kind of plans for the future, but with the Model 3 coming, this becomes a really strong signal for the standardisation of the adoption of this plug, and other charging networks will have to take count. Whether it means that manufacturers who have put the CCS socket on their cars now, because it will become to be seen as the de facto standard with Tesla's production kind of volumes, um, I expect. Whether that means that the manufacturers will try and bid in to get use of Tesla's network, whether Tesla will allow to, them to do that with the increased numbers of Model 3s that will be around, I don't know. But it seems to be an exciting time to finally kind of, you know, get some kind of real signal of a standard here. Um, it was the kind of touted de facto standard for Europe anyway to have this kind of Type 2 CCS but I think Tesla adopting it for the Model 3s and confirming that they're adopting it for the Model 3s, as you can see in the pictures from the Electrek source, it's, it's quite exciting. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. Um, is it going to be good for, you know, Ionic drivers, Kona drivers, e-Golf drivers, iPACE drivers, um, BMW i3 drivers, all the other ones that use the kind of CCS socket but probably haven't had a very good, um, you know, not an ideal experience of being able to use that everywhere in the UK, um, possibly throughout the rest of Europe as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, so please do consider subscribing if you're new to the Zero Tailpipe channel, and uh, there'll be more videos soon, and bye for now.